Hello, my name is Esther Trejo with Indian Spring Middle School. Welcome to our third annual College and Career Day. We are excited to have attorneys, vet techs, photographers, and a wide range of career fields to come and talk to our students. Esther and Waco, come on, let's go see what it's all about. Good morning. All right, my name is Danielle London. I'm a assistant district attorney with the McLennan County DA's office. Raise your hand if you know what that is. This guy knows. Know him from a long time ago. Anyone else know what that is? That means I'm a lawyer. Okay. <laughs> that I represent McLennan County and the citizens of McLennan County in cases that criminal cases that occur here. Okay. So I prosecute criminals. That's my job. So who likes to watch lawyer shows on TV? Me. Law and Order. What else? I don't know that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Law and Order, SVU, yeah. all of those? Okay. Those are shows that somewhat accurately, not exactly accurately, portray what I do every day. Okay. Raise your hand if you like to argue. Like to argue. All right. Keep your hands up. Is that accurate, this group? Okay. Keep your hands up if you're good at it. I didn't see a single hand go down. I'm not shocked by that. Don't be humble. All right. What percentage of my day do you think is spent arguing? 150 percent. 75 percent. 50. I'll be honest, on most days, especially days when I'm not in court, I'm in court four out of five days a week, it's about one percent of my day is spent arguing. So it's a little bit different than what you expect what a lawyer does every day. Most of my day is spent in court doing plea agreements, negotiating with defense attorneys. I also deal with law enforcement. I also deal with victims. The actual in your courtroom arguing back and forth in front of a judge is a very, very small percentage of what I do. It's an important percentage of what I do, but it's a small one, okay? Who here has ambitions or ever thought about wanting to be a lawyer? Anybody? Any, back here? All right. What, for those of you who don't want to be a lawyer, why not? I too much. Yeah. Too much. Don't argue. Yeah. Well, I'm not talking about like the, when I talk about arguments, I'm talking about making legal reasons why I'm convincing a judge why I'm correct. It's not me like going back and forth with you. Not like that. It's I'm convincing a judge because I'm more prepared and I know the law that the other guy, this defense attorney, doesn't know as much as I do and why the judge needs to agree with me. So when I say argument, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Don't want to do that. Not interested in that. Okay. How much school do you think it takes to become a lawyer? A lot of years. Okay, so start with college. How long does college take? Four. Four, Four years. All right, what, what comes after college if you want to be a lawyer? Uh, law, law school. school. Law school. How long does that take? Like Nine, ten years. Nine, ten years. Three years. Oh. Three, you're close. That's, that kind of seems like a lot. You guys are in seventh grade, right? So that's a lot of school. Who likes school? Who enjoys it? Yeah, I'm getting halfway. One back here. You like school? What do you like about it? Keeps you busy. Keeps you out of trouble. Keeps you busy. I'm like, it keeps us from being bored at home. Yeah, bored at home. There's, there's only so much daytime television that you guys can watch. It's like the worst time of TV is in the daytime, right? So, and you get to learn, right? Who, is, who likes to read? Just in your spare time? All right. That's cool. Fiction is good. Fan fiction. Okay, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but... You spend a lot of time reading if you want to be a lawyer. You also spend a lot of time studying the law, studying what the legislatures have given us in a very confusing way, and you're just trying to convince defense attorneys and judges why we're right. Okay? So as a criminal lawyer, my job is enforcing and being a part of law enforcement criminal violations of the law. Uh, my name is Lois Reasoner, and I'm a licensed veterinary technician hospital manager for an animal hospital in Hewitt, Texas. And I'm here to talk to you today about uh, veterinarians and veterinary technicians and what we do and how to get there. Um, don't open the lid, but uh, you can pass them around. And you can see they're hard, they're rocks, basically. But we see this a lot, and it's um, something that we do surgery on pretty frequently. Um, so that dog was fine. And then this dog, uh, we had a dog that came in that ate part of the carpet. 
actually it was a rug, it was a throw rug. And so it chewed it all up and the dog was vomiting and all this other. And so we opened it up and it had the big, a big wad of rug material in there. And the thing that you cannot tell is how horrible it smells. But anyways, so it's a very rewarding field. And um, I don't know how many of you have cats and dogs at home. Do you have? Okay, good. Um, you probably don't brush their teeth. Right, so all that tartar and food and nastiness build up on their teeth. So we do a lot of dentistry in our, in our practice. So the technicians, which is uh, the animal nurses, they do all the dentistry. The doctors come in at the end after the teeth are all clean and uh, pull all the diseased teeth. But we do probably three to four de uh, dentist uh, procedures every day because dentistry is really big right now in veterinary medicine. So how many of you think about maybe wanting to be a veterinarian when you grow up? Yeah? Okay. Well, the veterinarians specialize, like I said before, and um, so if you really want to get into this field, um, again, concentrate heavy on your math and science and keep your grades up, because like I said, getting into vet school is difficult. So I told you we play with poop a lot. Oh, yeah. Yep. So here's some <laughs> intestinal parasites. Now these are critters that live in the intestinal tract on animals that are not really taken care of very well. But the good news is, is that we have medications that we put them on as puppies and kills these guys. So again, don't take the lids off because there's some stuff in here that can burn your eyes and stuff. It's just keeping them um, so from deteriorating. And this, is, uh, this one's a tapeworm and this one is a roundworm. So again, don't take the lid off, but you can take a look. Okay. So they're dead, so don't worry. And you're not going to get them anyway because they're from animals and they're not transmittable. So I also have uh, heartworms, which are worms that live in the heart valves of the animal. And this is transmitted by mosquitoes. So if you do not have your pet, your dog, on heartworm prevention, they can get these and these will kill them. Heart, uh, heartworms. So these actually came out of a dead animal, so very easy to prevent, but if you do not do this, your animal could die. So, and again, do not take the lid off, and you can go ahead and pass it around. So it's cool stuff. Parasites. Yeah. Parasites. Hi guys, my name is Sarah Thompson. I am the owner of Simple Wish Photography. I'm located here in Central Texas. Uh, I get to travel pretty much around Austin to Dallas and the whole 35 in between. I specialize in children and newborns and wedding photography. I've also started branching out into uh, quinces, which are pretty similar to weddings in regards of the amount of work that goes into it. Um, my favorite kind of sessions is usually with the children because I get to chase them around and, and have fun. My day-to-day -day job pretty much is during the day I edit all day. I sit at a computer and edit and then in the evenings is when I go out and take pictures of families. Um, I started off as a mom with a camera and that's how a lot of photographers start out. You know, the ones that specialize in family and children and wanting to capture their true childhood and uh, just be a part of it and capture it so I can tell their story as they grow up. And from there it developed into friends and family saying, can you take pictures of my babies? And eventually I started charging money for it because after a while my time was worth something, right? Um, when it comes to my education for this degree plan, it is an arts. And so you can go to a community college and get the basics of learning. But the majority of it is it's just going out there and having fun. There is no right or wrong way to take a picture. There, it's an art. It's however you see it. Nobody can tell you how to paint you know, on a canvas. So nobody can really say, that's not my style. Everybody has their own unique style. Um, I brought some props and pictures and everything. And I had told you guys, this is Evelyn. And usually these are newborns. And I take these pictures around 4 to 14 days old. And then for children, I love capturing who they are as children. Lifestyle unposed, just get them out there, have some fun. 
And that was the Mentos experiment. Who knows what a Mentos experiment is? Have, is, have y'all done this before? Nope. Yeah? Oh my God, you're a poor mom. <laughs> Feel bad for her. So we didn't tell the boys what to expect. Just gave them a Diet Coke, gave them some Mentos, and said, do it. And, and that is one of my favorite pictures of my children. On weddings, it's, it's like being a part of somebody's fairy tale. You get to be a part of their story and a memory. Hi, I'm Sandy from Jack of All Trades. We're here to talk to you about career day today. And I just wanna let you know that we're a staffing agency and what we do is help people find jobs. So any kind of career, I do the clerical and the administration for Jack of All Trades, but we also have the production where we do a little bit of industrial work as well. We have all kinds of accounts all over the city and we help you find the right job that matches you and your education. So let's go into what you guys are interested in. Tell me a little about what you're interested in. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to be an OBGYN or a cosmetologist. Awesome. You're in a good spot because Waco has one of the best cosmetology schools. And as far as OBGYN, you can go to any of the, our colleges here in Waco. And that's an awesome profession. Yes, ma'am. I want to be a lawyer. A lawyer. Baylor's got the best law school in the area, so you're in a good spot. It'll require some really good grades. So that's what you guys are able to do right now is to get your grades up and get everything going in that line so when you're going to college you can just move right in. Yes? I want to be a judge. You want to be a judge? Again, there's Baylor Law School would be a good place for you to go and you just keep your grades up because you need really good grades to go to law school. Yes, ma'am? I want to be a chef. A chef, that's an awesome profession. I worked at Baylor for a, an executive chef there and he went to TSTC, and they have a good uh, culinary school there to where you can get an education and move right into all different kinds of restaurants. You can be like a, a chef at Baylor for Airmark, as we were the company that I work for. And they have all kinds of um, places for you to go. You can use that school anywhere, on a cruise ship, just about anywhere. Anybody else? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a good one. Well, the Air Force is a good place to get your education to be a geologist, yeah, though. Okay. So that's a good start. Yes, sir. <laughs> Military's good. And what was the other one? Oh, that's awesome. TSTC would be a good place for that, too. So you guys are very in very good position being in Waco because it offers so many different colleges and so many different fields that you can go into. Wow, what a great morning, Esther. I know, the students were excited, the teachers were excited, and the presenters did a great job. I can't wait to start planning for next year. I know, right? Keep watching WSD-TV. For more great things happening throughout the Waco community.